Good evening viewers, thank you for tuning in to Delson TV. I'm Ifrah Nur and we have some compelling headlines for you tonight. President Sisi says Egypt will not allow any threat to Somalia or its security. President Mohammed meets with the Secretary General of the Arab League and discusses implications of Ethiopia Somaliland Maritime Pact. Nigeria ex president sought to meditate Ethiopia Somalia tensions. Somali military conducts intensified security operations in Bay region. And finally, U.S. strikes another Houthi anti ship missile. Egypt's president said on Sunday it will not allow any threat to Somalia after Ethiopia said it will consider recognizing an independent claim by Somaliland, a deal that will give its access to a seaport. Our reporter has won the story. <laughs> On Sunday, Egypt's president said it will not allow any threat to Somalia after Ethiopia said it would consider recognizing an independence claim by Somaliland in a deal that would give it access to a seaport. The remarks by President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi were the strongest yet made on the issue by Egypt, which already has frosty relations with Ethiopia, and were a sign that Cairo may get involved in a dispute that has raised fresh tensions in the volatile Horn of Africa. Somaliland declared independence from Somalia in 1991, but has not yet won recognition from any country. The Port Lease deal, which was agreed earlier this month but not yet finalized, would be a boon to landlocked Ethiopia and has enraged Somalia. In a January 1st Memorandum of Understanding, Ethiopia said it would consider recognizing Somaliland's independence in return for the port access. It would lease 20 kilometers or 12 miles of coastland around the port of Berbera on the Gulf of Aden for 50 years for military and commercial purposes. Ethiopia's current main port for maritime exports is in the neighboring country of Djibouti. Representatives for Ethiopia did not immediately respond to requests for a comment on his statements. Egypt's foreign minister last week called Ethiopia a source of instability in the region, which the country's foreign minister said was irrelevant. Relations between Egypt and Ethiopia, which share use of the Nile River, have been tense for years now, over a major dam Ethiopia has built on the Blue Nile. Somali federal government President Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has on Saturday held meeting with the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Al Qaid. The meeting in Cairo, e the meeting in Cairo, Egypt, centered on various critical issues, including the ongoing diplomatic tensions between Somalia and, so and Ethiopia over the Red Sea deal made with Somaliland. Somalia federal government Dr. Hassan Sheikh Mohammed has on Saturday held a meeting with the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Al Qaid. The meeting in Cairo, Egypt, centered on various critical items including the ongoing diplomatic tensions between Somalia and Ethiopia over the Red Sea deal which has sparked controversy among different quarters in the national and international spectrum. During the meeting, Mohamud expressed gratitude to the countries and leaders of the Arab nations for reaffirming their support to Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity amidst bickering aggression by Ethiopia. The two sides also deliberated widely on the security and the strategy of the Red Sea's important passage of Bab al-Mandib, the current political and security situation in the Horn of Africa, and the implications of the Ethiopia's attempt to infringe on Somalia's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The president briefed the Secretary General the position of the Somali people and the government in denouncing the contentious memorandum of understanding between Ethiopia and Somaliland. Al -Qaid reiterated the commitment by the Arab League in ensuring the protection and defense of Somalia's independence, unity, and territorial integrity and emphasized that the violation of the sovereignty of Somalia will not be tolerated. The Arab League had on Wednesday condemned the maritime accord between Ethiopia and the separatist region of Somaliland, describing it as a clear violation of international law. To avert the risk of full-blown war between Ethiopia and Somalia, the African Union's Peace and Security Council has this patched the former Nigerian president Olegesun Obusanjo as a special envoy for negotiation efforts. 
The rising tensions between the two neighboring countries were triggered by an agreement signed between Ethiopia and the secessionist region of Somaliland, granting Ethiopia control over a maritime port and military base on the Red Sea. To avert the risk of a full-blown war between Ethiopia and Somalia, the African Union Peace and Security Council has dispatched former Nigerian president Oluseguin Obasanjo as special envoy for negotiation efforts. The rising tensions between the two neighboring countries were triggered by an agreement signed between Ethiopia and the secessionist region of Somaliland, granting Ethiopia control over a maritime port and military base on the Red Sea. The strained relations between Ethiopia and Somalia have raised concerns due to historical conflicts between the two nations. In 1977, territorial disputes led to clashes, and in 2006, Ethiopia invaded Somalia as part of the fight against Al-Shabaab. The recent agreement allowing Ethiopia access to Somaliland's territory is seen by Somaliland as a means to gain recognition as an independent state, which it has sought since its separation from Somalia in 1991. President Obasanjo faces a challenging task as he engages in delicate negotiations amidst the geopolitical complexities between Ethiopia and Somalia. The situation escalated when Somalia denied entry to an Ethiopian flight carrying representative of the Ethiopian government bound for Somaliland. The African Union Peace and Security Council has called on both Ethiopia and Somalia to adhere to the principles of the AU and international law in their bilateral and international relations. As President Obasanjo assumes his role as a mediator, the international community closely watches the delicate dynamics between Ethiopia and Somalia. The success of the negotiations efforts will be crucial in preventing further escalation and finding a peace resolution that respects the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all parties involved. Puntland State of Somalia has released details regarding the distinguished guests invited to the inauguration ceremony of President Saeed Abdullahi Deni. The Minister of Information of Puntland, Mohamed Aidi Dahir, announced that the president of the federal government of Somalia, alongside other heads of regional governments, have been extended invitations to attend the momentous event. Buntinan State of Somalia has released details regarding Buntinan State of Somalia has released details regarding the distinguished guests invited to the inauguration ceremony of President Saeed Abdullah Dani, the Minister of, Inform of Inform the Minister of Information of Buntilan, Mahmoud I.D. Drir, announced that the President of the Federal Government of Somalia, Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud, alongside all the heads of the regional governments, have been extended if intention is to attend the momentous event. According to the Minister Drir, President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud has confirmed his attendance and will be accompanied by officials from the Federal Government. The inclusion of the Federal President along with the representative from each regional administration and they discuss the importance of unity and cooperation among the Somali's political leadership. In addition to the federal and regional leaders, the inauguration ceremony will also be graced by the presence of independent politicians and representatives from the international community. As the date draws near, anticipation builds for his historic occasion, which will serve as a platform for the newly inaugurated leaders to outline the efficient prioritize and strategies for the advancement of Puntland and its people. The ceremony also presents an opportunity for dialogue, fostering relationships and strengthening partnership between various political actors at both the national and regional levels. In efforts aimed at getting rid of the Al-Qaeda affiliate group Al-Shabaab, from the country, Somali National Army 47th Battalion on the ground of the ground forces under the commandership of Ahmed Mohamed Noor conducted massive security operations in villages under Govkedud Bure town in the Bay region of the southwest state. In efforts aimed at getting rid of the Al Qaeda affiliated group Al Shabaab from the country, the Somali National Army's 47th Battalion of the ground forces under the commandership of Ahmed Mohamed Noor Ahmed Dege conducted massive security operations in villages under Gulf Gadud Bure town in the Bay region of the southwest state. The operations mainly targeted areas such as Misgala, Warta, Kormar, Duro and its environs. Somali military officials said that Al-Shabaab used the areas to recruit members and extort money from the unsuspecting locals who plied the roads to the Bay and Vakol regions. This is not the first time that the government forces have carried out planned security operations against Al-Shabaab in the area. On December the 26th of last year, the SNA troops conducted similar operations targeted at the localites of Seidelo, 
have hero burta qodqoda alamka warta dollar and wele which were used as registering points by the insurgents the ongoing military operations and activities are part of the current efforts by the Somali federal government to eradicate al-shabab and restore peace and stability in areas that were largely controlled by the terror outfit for several years the Somali federal government has vowed to continue conducting heightened operations against al-shabab in efforts geared towards eliminating the extremists from the horn of africa nation where they have been wreaking havoc for decades that's all dear viewers and we wish you a lovely evening